<laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday, and I thought I'd get on here and chit chat with you guys and vlog today. It is gray and sad outside. Look, gray and sad. The camera makes it look even brighter than it is. It's dark. I'm like, where's the sun? I thought we were in spring. Anyway, it's warm and muggy. It's 60 degrees, which I'm thankful for. But it's just, everything's foggy. So listen, we're going to Eureka Springs tomorrow. Um, I don't know what today's vlog's going to look like. Uh, but... That's all right. It may be boring as I'll get out. It may be exciting. You just never know what a day's going to bring. Uh, but we're going to Eureka Springs tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to go to work tomorrow morning and get off at noon. I took half a day so we can head out tomorrow. We're going to take the puppies over to the boys' house, Alex, Wyatt, and Chelsea's house. They're going to puppy sit for the weekend. I said, look, kids, listen. Mama needs your help. I got two choices. One of y'all can come and house sit, you know, and come live at my house for the weekend, or, and keep the dogs, or I can bring the dogs to you. And they're all like, bring the dogs over here, Mom. We'll take care of the dogs. And I'm like, okay. So, uh, this evening, we're gonna take Kips and Ross over to their house. I'm gonna wrap up laundry, cook dinner, you know, do all the things I need to do so we can go enjoy our weekend. And um, that's that's really it. And then we'll I'll get off at noon tomorrow, and then we'll head out. Um, Y'all know we like to go to Eureka Springs to relax and chill. And um, Shane's wanting to start um, walking. Y'all know I always do my yoga or my walking or my jogging or, you know, me and my sister, we like to move our bodies and work out. Are we like fitness gurus and consistent? No. But we try to get a couple workouts in a week. Um, so it's been a few days since I've done my pole yoga, so I need to do that. Um, I'll do that tonight while I'm folding laundry, throw in 30 minutes of yoga. We'll probably have breakfast for dinner or just sandwiches, something easy. Um, or we'll throw something in the air fryer. Listen, I didn't vlog it last night. It's been kind of a, a weird week, so I didn't really vlog this week. But um, last night, I made spaghetti squash in the air fryer. It was so good. It was so good. The next time I make it, I'll vlog it. But it was so good and it was so easy. And I made it aside with um, Italian sausage, spaghetti sauce, and garlic bread. And the whole dinner was like 500 calories. And I was full. It was so good. And the only reason it was like 500 calories was because of the garlic bread and the sausage. <laughs> but the spaghetti squash, it's very filling and there's virtually no calories or carbs or anything in it. And it's so good. And there's like 9 million different things you can do with it. But anyway, um, if it's got veggies, I'm eating it. I love anything with vegetables. I could almost be a vegetarian. Almost. Almost. I don't know. If I had to, I could be a vegetarian. Um, but that'd be, that'd be tough. Because sometimes I want a big fat cheeseburger, you know, or some chicken and rice or, you know, stew or meatloaf, <laughs> you know, but almost, I'm about 80% could be a vegetarian, I just love veggies, love them, love them, just give me some veggies, uh, but anyway, I'm just rattling, I'll get off here, going to work, gonna get ready for the weekend, that's really all I got right now, so, stay tuned. So it's about 1.15. We have um, a couple um, 
customer calls to go do, one in Sepulpa and one out um, in Tulsa. So we don't want to go see our customers empty handed. So I found this new bakery called Cookie Mama. What? So we're gonna pop in there to Cookie Mama. We're gonna get a dozen cookies, um, two six packs, and we are gonna um, add thank you cards that I had everybody sign, and we're gonna go see our customers. So let me pop in here, get these cookies, and see what I come out with. I'm always down for new cookie places. Okay, I'll be right back. That was the cutest store. I should have vlogged in there. They have like this big wooden swing on a rope inside the bakery. It's adorable. They've been over here since September. I'm like, how long have y'all been over here? She said, since September. Um, they were a store inside of another bakery and then I guess she moved into her own space. Anyway, let me show you these cookies. We went with the St. Patrick's theme, so looky here. Don't worry about my messy car. Okay, looky here at these. What? I don't want to put my hands all over them, but as you can see on the bottom, that's like an M&M. That's like a mint chocolate chip. But look at the gold Lucky. So these are for our customers, and I'm going to say we're lucky to have you. Thank you for your business. And then a little, uh, God, what are those called? Those little guys, those little St. Patrick's Day guys, leprechaun. And then under that is a three-leaf iced sugar cookie, and under that is some other kind of sprinkled uh, cake um, cake something. I don't know. There's different kinds, but I got each customer six cookies and that's where we're at. Okay. Let's head on out and go to Spalpa. Real quick, any of those who are in the Tulsa area, there is, um, her label, Cookie Mama Cookie Company, 918-560-6262. Okay. And she put him in, the, in these cute little boxes. I just wanted to add that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but we're about to be driving into a storm. You know the storm is gonna start right when I need to be out and about. I guess worst case scenario, if it gets too bad, I don't need to make my second stop because they don't know I'm coming. It's a just a, it's a cold call. So if it gets real bad, I'll just, I don't know, go back to the office, I guess. Okay. I think I'll be fine. It's kind of pretty. I made it through the storm. I drove right smack through it, pouring down rain, 45 miles an hour on the highway. But we made it. This is where we're sitting now. Of course, it stops storming. Of course, it stops storming as soon as I pull in to my destination. On one hand, that's good. Now I don't have to get out in the rain. On the other hand, I hate driving through storms, but we made it. Yes, I'm wearing a mask because I'm going into a long-term care facility and you have to be vaccinated and boosted and all those things if you want to work here. You don't have to have all that to visit, but you do have to wear a mask. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to have my meeting. I'm going to take them cookies and then uh, I hope the weather stays calm because I have a long drive. Out to the other side of Tulsa. Okay, let's go do this thing. I cannot breathe in those masks. I had to sit in that meeting, <laughs> which lasted 15, 20 minutes. It was a short meeting. I felt like I was suffocating. So in this kind of weather, my lungs already suck and I don't mean suck in air they're awful and I already can't breathe and then I have to put that mask on <sighs> Whew. anywho okay we're done with that I'm gonna get in my map and figure out the coordinates and the directions to get to this other facility because I've never been to it and that's probably not going to be a meeting. You never know, but it's probably not going to be a meeting. I'm just going to go um, love on them, give them some cookies, tell them thank you, and see if they need anything. I won't bother y'all again until we get to the house.
Do you want to go bye-bye? Look, Roscoe's already at the door. You leaving? Are you are you leaving, Ross? You want to go bye-bye? Where are we going? Where are we going? Are we going to see Alex and Wyatt and Chelsea? Okay. Just got to wait on Pops. Tell me, Kips. What are we doing? Are you going bye-bye? Are you? You ready to go, Ross? You right on our goal? They are so ready to go bye-bye. Well, we got to wait for Pops. Look at him at the door. Gonna go ride in the car. Just ready. Tell Pops, come on, we're ready to go. I'm ready to go. They crack me up. They're gonna go spend the weekend with Alex and Wyatt and Chelsea and Elton and Rose. You wanna go see Rosie? You ready to go see Rosie? They're ready to go. Okay, we're going. We're going. We came to Outback. I got a big cop salad. He got a sirloin, baked potato, mixed veggies, and those carrots are the bomb. We just dropped the puppies off, and now we want to get dinner. Excuse me. Do what? Oh, that means Shane's getting ready for bed. He said, "I'm about to get naked." We're home. Listen, I've had a huge day. I feel like I've driven all over the state of Oklahoma. I haven't, but it feels like it. My belly's full of good food. These stairs are a big chore right now. I'm gonna wash my face. We're gonna put on a movie. I'm gonna curl up in my unmade bed. Feels weird without the dogs here, doesn't it? I feel like I need to let the dogs out to go pee and get them ready for bed. I'm gonna wash my face. Put on my jammies and get in bed. Where am I still at? I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. And we will I have to go to work in the morning for four hours. I'll get off I'll go in I'll work from eight to noon tomorrow. I sent Maggie a text and I'm like, Hey, would it be cool if I just went ahead and took the whole day off tomorrow? And she texted me back immediately and she said, Nope, sorry. I said, Okay, no biggie, I'll be there. So um, you don't know if you don't ask, right? But we're shorthanded tomorrow, so Maggie's like, no, I need you here. And I'm like, no big deal. So I'll go to work till noon tomorrow. And then, uh, come home, throw a bag together, and we'll get on the road to Eureka. Shane got a new phone. So he's going to sit here and put it, get everything. Your new bougie phone. I'm excited. It's your little work area. Yeah. Nice. I'm proud of him. His phone busted, like the face of it busted, like months ago. And I'm like, will you get a new phone? Please? And like when he would call, I couldn't hear him and it was fuzzy and he finally got a new phone. Oh, let me show you my few little thing. I look tired. I've had a huge day. Let me show you the few little things I got from Walmart and then I'm going to let you guys go because I'm going to bed. Okay, I'm going to turn you around. Don't, don't worry about my mess. Okay, so the first thing I got was my Zizol, right? Then I got, uh, here it is. I've been on the struggle bus with my lungs because I ran out. Um, I got some more L'Oreal Wrinkle Expert 45 Plus. Love it. Been using it for a long time. I'm a repeat buyer. Love this stuff. I just ran out. Um, I needed some more brown eyeliner. This is my favorite, Maybelline Unstoppable in the color Espresso. Love that. Um, I was out of my Fit Me 130, and that's Buff Beige. So I switched gears this time, and I got Fit Me 230, which is um, a natural buff. So I think this is going to be, it's going to have a little more orange in it maybe, or peach. So hopefully it'll work. But I just love the Fit Me. Um, powder. Love it. And then I found a little blush by Wet n Wild um, in the color Mellow Wine. It's not coming off real clear here, but I wanted something a little bit darker. Uh, Exclamation point. And then I got my um, Equate brand Neutrogena Knockoff Nighttime Soothing Makeup Remover Towelettes. 
that I put in my reusable box, which is a Neutrogena box. I think that's it. Here's my new little shelf that I put together. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I've got all my perfume sitting on. Isn't that cute? I got this little shelf off Amazon. It's cute. Um, if I can remember, I'll attach the link. I put it together myself. It's got all of my perfumes, body sprays. Isn't that pretty? Just real cute. Real cute little setup. Okay, I'm going to wash my face and go to bed. I'm done. <laughs> I love you guys. The Lord loves you more, and we will see you tomorrow. We're going to Eureka Springs.